Hey guys, Kev here, and I have another unboxing for you. So, this is the last one that I have today. Um, I had like four or five packages from the last couple of days I just couldn't get to, and uh, I've been working my way through them. I have my Dock Street here. And this here is from MBK. So, Monterey, Bay Knives, Sanford Owen, and Ray Laconico teamed up to make a knife company and come out with cool designs. And that's what they do. Um, I have an Easy C 1.5, and I absolutely love that knife. Um, it's been out on loan since before Christmas. I sent it to Jake. <laughs> And then he sent it to Brandon from Everyday Minimalist, and those two apparently um, take their time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's on the way back now. I'm very excited to have it back. I just miss my baby. Um, but anyway, I love the 1.5 because it's a liner lock and a flipper, and I don't have to worry about frame lock issues. So we'll see. I had an Easy C 1.0 that was made by Kaiser, by the way. That's like the only knife we know who made it from MBK, I think. Maybe the min pin was Kaiser too, but that knife, ugh, I didn't like it. The detent was too light. Um, the It was too small for a lefty to be a frame lock because of the pressure issue. So I, I sold that one pretty quick. Um, have I tried anything else? I tried the VLD. Uh, Brad, Mild Manor DC, sent me that. I didn't like that knife very much at all. It was just like a fat, I don't know, just it's too strong of a detent. I know, I'm saying that, but yeah, too strong of a detent. So I think those are the only ones I've tried from MBK. Um, I'll have to double check that, but who cares? Um, this right here is the Mini Old Guard. So I saw when the Old Guard came out a couple months ago, and I thought it was cool, but I just, I don't know. I didn't jump on it. Um, and I heard kind of mixed things about the micarta on it and just in general, the detent and stuff. Um, so I don't know. And then they announced a mini. And I got more interested just because, I don't know, three-inch knife uh, at the time sounded a lot better to me than three and a half inches. Now I like bigger knives, so now I'm like worried I should have got the bigger one. But this one came in Raindrop Carbon Fiber and Sanford or Ray, I don't know who I was chatting with on Instagram, said that the Raindrop was stunning. So I just was like, all right, and I bought it. Um, I did ask them for a discount, uh, but they said no, because basically what I was told was this knife should cost 200 and well, I don't know, 235 bucks or something, but uh, they got the price down to 200 um, and I guess they felt like they squeezed enough out of that price that they couldn't really justify giving discounts to people, which is fair enough. Um, I usually ask if I can, just cause I buy a lot of shit for the channel and any little bit of a discount, if I can get it, it helps. Right. So that's why I do that. Um, I'm not trying to be a cheap skater or anything. It's just expensive. I don't know, whatever. Why not ask for a discount? Right. Um, all people can say to you is no. So I feel like a lot of things in life are like that. You just need to ask a lot of people complain about things and like, have you asked? And if somebody says no, okay, then you know, but like complaining about something before ever asking makes no sense to me. Um, whatever, I'm getting off track. The unboxing knife is the Enrique Pena large swayback front flipper x series front flipper that i just unboxed um and it actually works for a lefty which is awesome I, I i'm not sold on these ergos yet it's super weird i feel like it's backwards honestly um but i guess when i hold it like this the way it's angled and everything makes sense so i don't know we'll see on that see how to get into this package here and as a knife, because that's what this is, this thing is perfect for, like, getting into packages, right? Because you just have the tip right there. Boom. Um, I like that part. Okay. She's open. So check this out. <laughs> I 
Pretty cool, right? MBK. I don't want to mix this up because I have one over there from Brad. Oh, mine has a bigger logo. Remember that. All right. In the pouch, you have... Oh, there is a cloth. There's a cloth in here. This looks familiar, guys. It looks like a wee cloth, but I don't know. I guess anybody could use a, a cloth. Also looks like a wee pouch, but again... I'm just guessing here. They don't tell people who their OEM is. I think because they want to keep... Oh, wow. This is bigger than I thought. Good. All right. Let me tuck this in and we can go from there. Try not to look at it. Look at that. So if you guys remember my EZC 1.5, that was my first review actually on the channel. It was a righty night. Eh, whatever. Um, that knife had marbled carbon fiber, which had voids in it. It was some kind of error or whatever. Um, this is raindrop and it does not have voids. It has these cool swigglies on it and you can actually, can you feel that? That's interesting. And this is a three inch blade on here, guys. Um, the, the the full size is 3.5, and I was a little worried this was going to be too small, but it feels pretty damn good. Yeah, I would say that feels good. Would I like to have another half an inch in this direction? Yes. This direction? Not really. I'm good with that blade, and it fits in my hand very well. Holy shit. Um, blade play? No blade play. Action. Okay. I know it's on washers, so maybe it needs to break in there a little bit. Man, that thing thunders out of there. I mean, we'll work on that action. Washers tend to, yep, break in quick. And it's definitely locked up tight. Man, I like this, guys. Nice sharp edge. This is M390 steel. You have the MBK logo over here. And that's it. You have the steel marking up on the top of the blade here. Now, I do want to check my lockup because I was chatting with my buddy Casey over at Knives Fast. Shout out to Casey. Go check out his channel if you haven't. Um, Knives Fast is really cool. It's actually, I never told him this, but... That was an idea that I had. Um, I wanted to do like five minutes or less videos or reviews on knives because you'd see a review and it'd be like 25 minutes. And I don't know. I just thought it would be cool. But then I started making videos and I talk a lot. So it just didn't work. Um, but I, I really like that concept and he sticks to it. He keeps himself under and I like that. Um, so anyway, he said his, he has the full titanium mini old guard, which you can currently, you can get this, I believe, in the raindrop carbon, a regular carbon, and then a titanium, full titanium build. And then they have the full size old guard in just carbon fiber right now, I think. Um, and anyway, he has the full titanium and he said his lockup was really early. Um, uh, and he's, he was a little bit concerned about it. So yeah, I mean, it is quite early, but me personally, I don't mind that. That doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, let me whack it. Yeah. I mean, I just whacked it on my leg a few times. It's not going anywhere. Um, And it really fires out of there, guys. I don't have any locks. I think he said he could push the bar in, too. Yeah, I can't really do that. So maybe he just had a... He might just have a lemon or something. I mean, I'm usually the one who ends up with those, right? Um, it feels a little weird on the lock bar. as a So, sorry. Right-handed, I don't think I would like this because your fingers are all up on that lock bar. I guess you have to put your fingers on the clip and do that. Left-handed, I like thumb studs when they're frame locks.
because as a lefty, your finger, your thumb is on the the thumb stud. It's not on the, the frame lock, so it makes it where you rarely have that problem where you lock it up. Uh, so I like that. I don't think this has an over travel stop. It does have a steel insert. Let me get a flashlight. Yeah, it has a steel insert. You guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I'll try. Can you see in there at all? Is there, can you see the steel insert? I don't know. Sorry. Um, but I'm looking for an over travel stop because, oh, wait. Yeah, I think I see one in there. Yeah. Okay. It's just, it lets it go pretty far. Because what I was feeling was when closing the knife, you can really kind of feel that lock bar move a lot, which, you know, sometimes that you don't feel that. Um, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but it does have that lock bar insert, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty early, but it's not, like, causing any issues. So nothing to worry about. Um it doesn't necessarily drop, so like it kind of needs a little shake to break. Um, and then it is, it's really smooth, so I think it'll break in over time. Um, again, dead centered. I'm really liking this, guys. I like the design of it. It's just a simple drop point blade with a clean handle, very Ray Laconico, but it has some other elements to it, and that's where Sanford Owen comes in. I think that's cool. This is the first knife these two guys designed together. Um, well, the the old guard was. This is the mini, but same difference, right? Um, really cool on the Raindrop CF. Just a very functional blade. Again, it's M390. It looks relatively thin behind the edge. Doesn't look super thin, but it's probably in the high teens, if I had to guess. Um, yeah, just overall a cool knife, cool design. I love the uh, clip that they always go with. I love the clean, raw titanium look on one side and the carbon on the other. That's enough carbon fiber for me. Um, I will say that sometimes this carbon fiber, the raindrop, looks kind of cheap. Like when QSP does it, I feel like it looks kind of cheap. I don't know. Um, looks more plasticky than it does carbon fiber does that make sense like this carbon fiber is very well done and qsp very well could have made this for all i know um but it feels a little different than that a little nicer it's a thick chunk of it um that might be part of it as well because the penguin i had those scales were were super thin on top of the steel liner so that could be why this is just a whole side of uh, CF. Let me see if there's any weight reduction, and then we can wrap this up. Sorry. Um, is there a liner in there? Yes. Is that a liner or is that carbon fiber? No, there's a steel liner in there, and it has uh, four, five milling pockets on the show side, and then you have a full titanium scale on the other and a titanium backspacer so again not sure how well you're gonna see this but there's five milling pockets up and down that show side there's one under the backspacer you can't really see um, and then on this side you have just the titanium liner for the frame lock and everything um, and then you have this full titanium backspacer which is cool uh, I really like it's kind of funny how you can see right through the clip and into the inside of the scale you can see where they did the relief cut right in there that's pretty cool um, yeah I'm really liking this knife so far just shoots out of there um, I should I should check the detail a little bit what the fuck am I doing yeah I mean I'm trying to fail it and there you go. So you can if you really try. But I mean, if you give this thing anything, it shoots out of there and locks up. And I'm usually going to, you know, give it a good out. Give it a good thwack. Um, I do occasionally hang it up 
And that, when you see me slip off like that and miss it, I think it's because of my fingers. They're, on, they're like on the blade as I flick it out. So I got to make sure they stay on the scale here. Because as a lefty, I don't have the clip. As a righty, you just hang on to that clip, right? Um, so it's a little different. Yeah, the action's already breaking in really good. Uh, I really like this thing, guys. I am stoked. I am not going to mess with it. I tend to always mess with my knives right away. Put KPL in, take it apart, do all that stuff. Um, I think this one I'm going to let break in a little bit. Um, I'll probably do the disassembly video. Um, but I'll do that in a day or two after I give it a little bit of time to break in. Get those washers going and uh, we'll go from there. So this is a really, really cool knife. As you can tell, I'm just rambling about it. Um, so this is the MBK Mini Old Guard in Raindrop CF and M390. Uh, thanks to Monterey Bay Knives for making a cool knife. Um, I really love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic night and I catch you later.